Welcome to the Healthy Heart Podcast, brought to you by me, Gabby Garcia. The Healthy Heart Podcast is a space to share about valuable topics that, as a humanity, we need to be more aware. We want to create a positive impact in everyone who listens to us. I believe you are also making a positive impact, so thank you for being here. Welcome to this second episode. After a great feedback, I am back to keep spreading the love. The last episode was about self-love, because as this is a self-development podcast, I thought this was a major topic to start if we are all going to have a healthy heart mindset. And today, I decided to talk about forgiveness. Why? Well, because I believe it is also very related to self-love and it is a topic that can be scary and delicate for some of us. But I also believe that it is the key for freedom. Let's get started. One big step that represents the love you have for yourself will be exactly to forgive yourself for situations or feelings you had in the past that cannot be changed. And also to forgive others for whatever you feel it is their mistake. Because if you are storing all these grudges, you are harming your mind, your body, and definitely your healthy heart. Nobody likes to feel grudges, right? But it can also be difficult to get rid of them, considering the sadness they evoke in us. This feeling can be really deep and maybe have years and years of constant pain or probably you're not even aware on how is this holding you back in other parts of your life. All our experiences shape us in many ways. Reason why I feel it's so good to reflect in different parts of our physical and mental realities. I'll mention three major ones that I feel we should constantly reflect on. The first one is relationships. I think this is a big one because it gathers your relationships with others but also the one you have with yourself. Our social connections are essential to have a healthy heart, even more than the air, the water or the food that we consume. We all have heard a phrase referring to dying of nostalgia, melancholy or even from love. And it is possible, our hearts can really suffer from it. So it is imperative that we have a good relationship with ourselves and with others. The second point will be spirituality. From my point of view, this represents our engagement, whether you're religious or not. I mean, your connection with the creation, with you as a living creature and with your appreciation of life. Therefore, this is also very related to your gratitude practices and your feeling of belonging. When you connect with this, it is easier to forgive because you get to realize that there are no others. But of course, there are situations or behaviors from others that we cannot control, so we can just, as always, control our own reactions. The point is that if you connect with your spirituality, you will appreciate yourself enough to not allow your body, mind, and healthy heart to feel anxiety, grudges, or bad feelings for anyone, because you are the only one affected by your own thoughts, aren't you? And this takes us to the third part I believe we should reflect in our lives, which is relaxation. Relaxation is super important because it is directly related to our nervous system, our healthy heart and the mind. When we have an issue with someone or an unpleasant situation, we are not totally relaxed. And yeah, we can say, oh, it's okay, I don't really care, it's totally fine. And then it goes around and around and around in our minds. Probably just now, while you are listening to this, you have remembered about a person or a situation you haven't get over it, and it creates a feeling of discomfort that avoids us from being in a real relaxation state of mind. You can feel your heart pumping faster just by remembering it, don't you? And of course, to forgive can sound easier than it actually is, but it is possible, and that is the message that I want to give you today. So to recap the three major parts to check on our lives for a better understanding on how important it is to forgive are one, relationships, two, spirituality, and three, relaxation. I will highly recommend you to listen to a tech talk from Sandeep Jauhar 
on how your emotions change the shape of your heart. You will find the link in the description below. Now let's find out how you can get over that or those situations that don't let you feel that you are free. And why do I say the word free? It is because you can travel around the world, you can sail from the Pacific to the Atlantic Ocean and still not be free if you haven't forgive yourself or others. I just really want to give you some tools that I find very helpful when it comes to forgive and let go on things that have literally changed my perception on how to see others' behaviors or even my own. I made a list of five, so I think it is easier to choose which one or which ones can resonate with you. One, wear the compassion glasses. This means you will see the other person as someone who is just a victim of their own personal battles or lacking of self-love, projecting all the frustrations in others, harming because they don't know any better. But this doesn't mean that we are justifying them, we are just understanding why is that they could be acting like they are. Because as you want to be a better human being, they could also try to be a better human being. It is just that sometimes we are in different levels of personal growth or we have different experiences. Number two, use techniques as Hoponopono, meditation, or visualization. You're probably saying Hopo, Hopo, what? <laughs> I could do a whole podcast on it, but I'll do my best to explain it as short as possible. Hoponopono is a Hawaiian healing method also used throughout the South Pacific and in a very basic approach, it says that whatever we see outside, we have it inside, which means that we are all mirrors reflecting our own internal state of being in the outer world, meaning that we are actually creating our realities. This is something to study because at the beginning it can feel a bit overwhelming to think that, for example, a person talked to you in a wrong way because you reflected something, while in reality you weren't actually doing something wrong, right? So I will just tell you that every time you don't like someone or something, you can mentally repeat the phrases that Hoponopono uses as reconciliation and forgiveness mechanism. And these are, please forgive me, I am sorry, I love you, thank you. The next technique will be meditation, which is known for connecting ourselves with our breath and clear our minds. So it is a practice that will definitely help us to release undesirable thoughts and feelings towards any person or situation in general. And the next one will be visualization, which can also help us to revive the moment and see the different perspectives as it can also help us to create a moment in our minds where we look at that person's eyes and tell them, what we feel and working more on it even to tell them I forgive you. The third one will be write a letter to the person or to the situation. This is a super helpful tool because you can release sometimes even more than you thought you were holding in your mind and in your heart. So I believe it is very powerful to write it down and then read it out loud. At least for me it helps a lot. The fourth point will be ask myself how does it feel to keep those feelings inside and if I want to keep feeling that way. Simple, but of course you always have to find a way to let it go. And it is in this moment where self-love plays a massive role because if you are totally loving yourself, you wouldn't like to allow those sensations into your body. And the last tool I find very reliable is ask myself if this feeling is my ego trying to always be right or if is this feeling going to change anything at all. I feel that this one is priceless because sometimes we don't even realize that our ego is knocking on the door of a lot of our reactions. Ego doesn't like to look bad, but if you are aware and you reflect on the idea of am I trying to prove that I am right? Is this going to make any difference? then again, we can work better on letting whatever it is go. By experience, I know how forgiveness can set you free. And I also know how it can hold you back. There are situations that are easier than other ones. Some will take a day, 
Some can take even more than a decade to heal, but the main purpose of today's episode is that you feel that there is a way to leave all that behind and that you are capable of feel that freedom so you can have a healthy heart. You can find more about us on www.dontdiewandering.me and enjoy all the different services we offer there. Please feel free to press the link on the description below and make a donation to support keep receiving this valuable information. Thank you for joining us and if you like this episode, please share it because spread the love is what we love.